Now I'll look for access attempts that the system thinks is a break-in. Here, I'm using dash i to make my search case insensitive, and there's all the break-in attempts. I can pipe this output into a command called awk to extract just a list of specific things. In my case, I want a list of IP addresses. What this print statement does is to count the twelfth thing that it comes across, line by line, space delimited, and only return that value. So I have print dollar sign twelve, which will return one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The twelfth thing, right there. It's the IP address in brackets. Awk is powerful, and there's another program called SED, SED, that you'll see used all over the place for string manipulation within bash scripts. I encourage you to explore the man pages for them both, with man awk and man said to become familiar with them. But since they're beyond the scope of bash itself, I won't cover them in depth here. So, okay, that's using grep directly on a file, but what about using it to pull specific information out of the output of a command? Let's take a look at that using the ping command. Now you're probably familiar with ping. It's really handy for checking if you have network connectivity and for getting an idea of the response time for a particular server or device. But sometimes I just want one ping to check something really quickly rather than letting the command run until I stop it with control C. Of course, ping has an option for this, the dash C flag, to set the count of the pings that it sends. But it still outputs a bunch of other information, and all I'm interested in is the response time. So to get that, I can pipe the output of ping into grep. In this case, I'll look for bytes from. 